Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to delve into a story that may sound like a work of fiction. But in fact, it is a true account of a war that took place in Australia in the early 20th century. This is a story of conflict, strategy, and ultimately defeat. This, my friends, is the story of the EU War. In 1932, the Australian government declared war on emus, seeing them as a threat to the country's agricultural industry. The military was deployed to take on the birds, armed with machine guns and heavy artillery. The stage was set for an epic battle between man and beast. But what the Australians didn't anticipate was the sheer resilience and cunning of the emus. These birds were not about to go down without a fight. They quickly organised themselves into units, with their officers leading the troops into battle. The emus deployed hit and run tactics, striking the Australians from unexpected angles, and they quickly retreated. They used their superior speed and agility to avoid the soldiers' gunfire, making them difficult targets. And when the Australians did manage to land a hit, the emus' thick hides absorbed the bullets, leaving them relatively unscathed. The emus also targeted the Australian supply lines, cutting off their access to food and water. The soldiers found themselves stranded in the harsh Australian wilderness with no way to replenish their dwindling resources. The Australian military was unprepared for the challenges posed by the emus. They were outmatched and outwitted at every turn. And while the government had initially boasted of their success in the emu war, it was clear that they had been defeated. In the end, the Australian government was forced to admit defeat and call off the war. The emus emerged victorious have proved themselves to be worthy opponents of even the most advanced military force. So, ladies and gentlemen, let this be a lesson to us all. We should never underestimate the power and intelligence of the natural world. And while the Emu War may have been a humbling defeat for the Australians, it serves as a reminder that we should strive to coexist peacefully with the creatures that we share this planet with. Thank you.